Hello everyone. It's been quite a while since I've put a video up. I've been doing things but not recording. I'm not 100% happy with the setup of my camera at the moment. But regardless, anyway, um, a week or so ago I was watching a video uh, by Ruby and she was doing some um, bunting and it spurred me on because I'd started making bunting a while ago and I'd put it away. I mean, I'd only cut it out, um, the shape of it, but um, I'd put it away. You know how it gets, you start something, you don't want to finish it, so you put it away. When I was unpacking all my stuff for my room, I came across a few things that, you know, were half done. Um, and so... After seeing her video, I thought, you know, I'm going to get on and finish that, um, the banner I'd started making because I want to put it on a shelf up here in my room. And I decided to make it quite colourful, not as colourful as Ruby's work, of course. She has a beautiful flair for her work and um, gorgeous things she makes, but my... Uh, I'm not quite as bright as that so <laughs> mine's more like a cottage garden so this is what we've got um, the shape of the buntings are like a half circle like that that's the back um, this green fabric is just scrunched along the top and that will sort of hold it all together. So the backs of them are done with doilies and then they're laid with a cotton fabric and then I've used vintage doilies, um, just crazy quilted or just crazy collaged, you could say. And I just sort of went through my um, scrap bag and things like that and found bits that were already cut. And then I found other pieces that weren't. So I've got a bit of beading there. I've got pieces of doily under here. It's glued and stitched. Like the base, all the doilies are stitched on. As you can see, there's stitching under here. And there's lace work under here. Uh, the laces, the little laces are from Luscious Laces. All the doilies are my own. This pink seam binding, I think, comes from Luscious Laces. But the the blue one here is hand dyed, and that was from Roseanne. Uh, I have some little acrylic flowers. I have little paper flowers. Uh, I said beading and doilies. This beautiful piece of lace here runs across the whole banner along with this fabric that I've just torn. And the lace is from Lynn Harris and the fabric was my own that I found thrifting. So that's the first bunting there. Um, there's also this lace here that was from Lynn Harris as well. It's really pretty. Uh, we have fabric flowers. We have vintage millinery flowers. The green seam binding I've used on this also comes from Roseanne's store. Thank you, Roseanne. Lots of doilies. This pink lace here is from Luscious Laces. This bobble trim here is my own and I've just sort of gone across and left a couple of dangles but not a lot of dangles um, mainly because of the place I want to put it. I unevenly just runched the fabric across the top. I didn't want it nice and even. I need a bit of colour in the spot that I'm putting it so this was perfect. Um, more acrylic flowers here, a bit of old scrap here. Uh, some rickrack from Luscious Laces as well. Paper flowers from Louisa and some buttons. This was just part of something I'd cut off. It was like a hem off something, so I just made a flower out of it. And then the largest one is in the middle. So we have doilies and I've stitched the lace on. Um, more beading there. Just some collage doilies and laces from Lynn Harris. Some lovely millinery flowers there and some fabric flowers. More seam binding and paper flowers. Uh, this little trim here is from Luscious Laces also. It's that new glittered rose trim that Annette has. and I think she has it in the blue, the pink and the white. 
And that's the other side there. And we have another fabric flower and some lovely cross stitch that was um, on a doily. So it was a, a really nice opportunity to use some things. And that's the last one there. And I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I did leave a little bit on the edge here. And to finish it off on the corner here, I'll probably put a bow, but I have to see it up on the shelf first. There's a bit of glue there. Um, I have to see it on the, the shelf first to see what it's going to look like. Um, that little blue trim is also from Luscious Laces. All these little gathered ones, the colourful ones, were from Luscious Laces. So there we go. I'll just show you again there. That's that one. And that one. And that one there. And that one. And that one there. And that one there. And that one and the end there and I thought best to show you before I get it up because they're a little bit hard to um, photograph once they're up in their position aren't they so I hope you like it and I had a lot of fun making it and I really have to get into recording again because I'm sort of out of the swing of it um doesn't that look pretty it's like a flower garden oh I love that that's really lovely and before I go oh, where is it when I was unpacking things I came across something that I'd been looking for for a while and it was some mail I received while everything was packed up and I just wanted this is an envelope look at that isn't that lovely and I just wanted to um show you and it is from Mary and Mary had a challenge on not long ago for her granddaughter um, she was getting a new baby granddaughter so she had a bunting um, challenge on as well and she says thank you so much for participating in my challenge to make a bunting piece for my little granddaughter's nursery I'm overwhelmed by everyone's entry entries they will be treasured isn't that lovely? And that is MDXX1520 on YouTube here. And that was so sweet of her. And she also sent these little adhesive button hearts. Aren't they lovely? And I don't have in any of this type of heart. So that will come in really, really nicely. And she's got, with love, a little tag with the butterfly. So thank you so much for that, Mary. I did receive it a little while ago, like I said, but it came when I had everything packed up and it got put somewhere and then I couldn't find it. So I found it <laughs> and now I'll be able to use them and that is so kind of you. Thank you for that. Okay, take care everybody and hopefully I won't be away as long this time between projects. Bye-bye now.